next thing I'll, I'll talk about some a few minutes on GNS3 simulation tool it's an excellent alternative for real labs because practically you know setting up your own lab using some physical devices is really not not a good option because you because you know most of the syllabus actually covers some updated uh, iOS versions and based on the new products which are not not easy and they are not exp they are they are very very much expensive again like adding a router ASF firewalls and setting up your physical setup is really not not a good option so the alternative is you can use any of the simulation tools so I'll be using GNS3 for most of the labs here and I have been using for a long time there are different versions like 0.x versions, 1.x and 2.x versions, the current one. And probably these are gone now, mostly not supported in most of the operating systems. And they are not really compatible with, uh, with the most of the operating systems as well as the new images coming up. So the good thing about this, you don't need a dedicated hardware like routers, switches, or you don't need any physical firewall. You just need some virtual images which can be used to integrate with this tool and run like a like a real machine. Now, to use the GNS3, you need to have your own copy of the operating systems, which means typically iOS. Like if you want to simulate an iOS router, you need to have your own copy of the Cisco iOS router image, the .bin file. Uh, you can also simulate some IOU, IOL programs. This is, uh, again, these are the files of, used by Cisco for internal testing purposes. We can use this, this one as well, uh, security devices. So if you have an ASA image, probably you can integrate with GNS3 and you can simulate a firewall, IPS devices, XR devices, uh, Juniper and, and more. So if I, if I just go to the website, if you search for GNS3 supported devices, you can see here, this is something what, so there are different options. There are some other URLs which, which shows you like the differences between the GNS3 and comparisons with any other any other simulation tools probably. But here you can see the device support. There are plenty of devices it supports. So this is what you will see. The appliances, different appliances. Again, you need to figure out how to use this and also you need to have the specific images to run and you can integrate in the GNS3 and you can run all these different different devices like Cisco NXOV. You need to have the virtual image downloaded from Cisco or IOU L2. There are different options. ASAV as well. Our focus will be mostly on this here. So now GNS3 is a good option, especially if you want to advance your skills and test, uh, test most of the features or most of the technologies on, on a virtual platform and of course you need to have a little bit high-end configuration device like uh, running at least 8 GB RAM with i3 processors for basic labs if you are looking for some advanced labs with more than 10 to 15 devices probably you need to have a little bit higher high-end configuration a device again 